Hello everyone, hope you have an amazing day. Today we're going to talk about the pancreas. The pancreas is an exocrine as well as an endocrine gland. The exocrine part produces about 1.5 liter of pancreatic juice every single day. The endocrine part, which accounts for 1 to 2 percent of the pancreas, consists of the cluster of cells of the endocrine tissue known as islets of Langerhans. These cells produce insulin, glucagon, and number of other hormones. The pancreas is covered by a thin capsule of connective tissue that sends septine to it, dividing the pancreas into lobules. So uh, the pancreas the, has um, an exocrine par um, portion. The exocrine pancreas secretes digestive enzymes that can, you know, can digest or maybe help in food digestion. This, such as enzymes, um, proteolytic endopeptidases, amylolytic enzymes, lipases, and nucleolytic enzymes. So uh, the proteolytic end, uh, endopeptidases and exopeptidases, they help in protein digestion or uh, the digestion of proteins into small peptides or amino acids. While the amylolytic enzymes, they help in the digestion of carbohydrates into glucose and, and small saccharides. Uh, while the lipases, they help in hydrolyzing the triglycerides into fatty acids and, mono and monoglycerides. So um, there, are, there are also the nucleolytic uh, enzymes as well that help to digest nucleic acid producing mono mononucleotides. So the exocrine portion of the pancreas, it constitutes mainly of 97% uh, 90, of, uh, of it are glands. It is, um, you know, it's, compo it's, it's compound serous tubular sinar gland, which consists of secretory portion is called also as acini and a duct system. The acini have elongated shape. Um, they are narrow in lumen and composed of two types of cells, the acinar and the central acinar cells. The acinar cells are highly polarized with a spherical basally located nuclei. The basal cytoplasm is basophilic, consists of rough endoplasmic reticulum, and the apical part of it contains uh, acidophilic zymogen granules. The zymogen granules are secretory vesicles containing the inactive precursors of digestive enzymes. They are activated in the lumen of the digestive canal when they are uh, introduced into the uh, duodenum part of the intestine. So uh, there are also the central acinar cells. They are very small and flattened with pale cytoplasm. They are situated in the center of acinus. They represent the terminal lining cells of intercalated ducts. Uh, and there are also the, um, the duct system. The duct system consists of intercalated duct, the, inter, uh, the intralobular duct, the, intra, the interlobule ducts, and the main pancreatic duct. The, the intercalated duct, um, it begins within the acinus. This, this kind of ducts, they are lined by a simple squamous epithelium. These cells secrete fluid and bicarbonates ions of, of the pancreatic juice. The intercalated ducts also short and drain into uh, intralobular intra, uh, ducts. The intralobular duct is lined by simple cuboidal epithelium. The intralobular duct drains into a large intralobular uh, duct. The, the intralobular duct are in the septa of the gland and lined by simple columnar epithelium. The intralobular duct drains uh, directly into main pancreatic duct. The main pancreatic duct of the gland is lined by, by, by um, you know, a very tall columnar epithelium. And the main pancreatic duct opens into this uh, summit of the major duodenal papilla usually in common with the bile duct, a duct draining the lower part of the head of the pancreas. The accessory pancreatic duct uh, of Santorini is very uh, variable. Um, if present, it, uh, it may open into the minor duodenal papilla, which is two centimeter above the major papilla in the duodenum. So um, I hope that you guys like this video and don't forget to go and watch the endocrine pancreas it's going to be separately in a, in a, in a different video. So um, don't let me use your time. And please don't forget to like and subscribe and share all the videos. And don't forget to tell your friends. Um, and see you in the next video.